Hi, it's Maxine Kay and Yoga from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living. It's a little late at night because Reverend Mike and I just came back from a wonderful show. It was a musical and there was wonderful dancing and singing and acting and it was based on a true story. So much joy in it and so much pain in the story. You know, you think about um, people and groups of people over the centuries who have had great struggles, really deep struggles and challenges, and yet always in the midst of it, they'll sing and they'll dance and they'll eat a beautiful meal and they'll have a wonderful time and toasting each other in the midst of adversity. There is something within the human consciousness that is so divine that no matter what may be taking place in their lives, our lives, we are able to, and we must, enter into joy and share that with each other and keep our hearts light and open and happy. In fact, that's the only way that I know really gets us through the adversities and the challenges is maintaining a light heart, continuing to laugh, continuing to sing, continuing to celebrate. This little girl knows how to celebrate. Sometimes her celebration involves just putting her head down and going to sleep. <laughs> we love having this beautiful balance between our work and our play, being able to experience even hardships and still feel the laughter that can take place in our hearts when we open them to that innate joy that lives within everyone, no matter what, no matter where we may be, no matter what we may be experiencing. So what a beautiful evening it was. What a wonderful reminder that there's always an opportunity to let the sunshine in, to allow ourselves to connect on the deepest, most heartfelt level with the other people in our world and to let the barriers come down between people. You know, this is, we live outside of Philadelphia and we love Philadelphia. We love Pennsylvania. We love where we live. Philadelphia is the city of brotherly love. Well, it doesn't always look that way, does it? You read the paper and you think, how could somebody have done that to somebody else? Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love and sisterly soul. We're in the process of our spiritual evolution where we finally discover that there is no reason to harm one another. There's no reason to deny each other's uh, respect. There's no reason to, to uh, decide that somebody's better than somebody else. There's every reason to open our hearts to each other. And there's every reason, no matter what else may be, taking place in our personal lives or in the world, there's every reason to continue to celebrate the joy of living. The joy of living, the joie de vivre, as our French friends say. Let's enter into more joie de vivre at the same time that we're opening our hearts more widely to each other and no more divisiveness. Oh, please, we have so much work to do yet, although we've come a long ways. We have a ways to go before we finally discover our unity. And as we do, we can open our hearts even more widely to each other. And every city can be the city of brotherly love and sisterly soul. Well, this little one is telling me that it's time to lovingly say goodnight to you. Thank you for being with us. Tomorrow, you will be with Reverend Mike because he also loves to bring you love notes. And don't forget to come and be with us on Sunday morning. You'll hear more about that tomorrow. We love you. Keep smiling. Keep laughing. All is well.